What's going on, guys? It's me, and today is another day. Uh, we're going to be testing out the RTX 3090. The RTX 3090 is going to be going against the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K, 12K footage, 8K footage, and red cameras, 8K Vista Vision footage. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, the Ursa Mini Pro 12K footage obviously is not mine because I have yet to receive mine. It's still stuck in the middle somewhere but uh john brawley which is an amazing uh black magic design user he uh let some files he released some files for us to kind of play around with uh totally awesome guy if you're a black magic user you're probably familiar with him he's really active in the forums and whatnot but yeah we got the footage from him and then the black magic design website and then the red camera uh digital camera website because i'm not going to use any more red camera user footage i got in trouble for doing that in the previous times so we're just using stuff from the actual websites and john brawley uh so with that being said let's go ahead and drop some we're gonna start with 12k but the first thing we're gonna do is just make sure that we have gpu uh acceleration here because it would defeat the purpose so if we go here it should be auto by default you go to cuda manual select your 3090 24 whatever save that and it's gonna restart all right so now the win there let's go ahead and start looking at some files now that's a red camera so let me change this to 12k first of all and let's look at the native 12k that's 12 12 to 8 8 by 6 12k resolution all right there you go. Um, this one looks like, and we're going to get some more information about the shots because it will kind of put stuff in perspective here. Uh, this one was shot Q3, okay? Uh, so Q3, there's a little bit of compression there. So let's drop that there. And then we're just going to go select all the, f that one's a little bit, I think this one's like a two, f yeah, this is a two, four um, aspect ratio. That's okay. We're gonna, Let's go get the, 12k for for real first because those are the hard hitters like this guy this guy's 12k for real and i mean to be honest guys aside from me filming my daughter's birthday party in 12k i honestly don't see myself shooting in 12k a lot i'm just lying i am probably gonna shoot a lot of 12k just for fun okay so it looks like and this one yeah this one right here is also 12k and this one right here is also 12k all right, so we have about 31 seconds worth of 12K footage. And let's see if we have any playback. We're going to delete all the render cache just in case. Um, I don't have any optimized media, so none of that. Just making sure that we don't have any. Uh, for the render cache, I would just do smart. And let's press play. And you should be able to see the frames per second right here, right? Now, obviously, GPU acceleration by itself clearly does not do too much to the 12K footage uh, that the Ursa Mini Pro 12K uses. This is all, it looks like they're all Q3. This one's Q1. Oh, look, there's actually Q1, man. What the heck? So Q3, Q3, and this is not even like... Q0, you know, so they're still compressed, but as you can see, you are not going to get a full 24 frames per second. And I haven't even touched it at all as far as grading goes. So let's go ahead and delete the cache. So 12K is a no go. All right. 12 full frame, the whole entire sensor 12K is a no go. So let's look at the one that he cropped to 4k i'm sorry 5k jesus 12k 2.4 looks like that's 2.4 so over there over there let's see okay so this one's 2.4 this one's 2.4 i love that being able to just shoot without having to crop later on but the only problem is the only reason why i put black bars on my videos is youtube doesn't let you put end screens in a 2-4 ratio 
So that's why I'm having to crop a 16 by 9. I know it sucks, but it's the only way I can get an end screen on YouTube. Okay, so now that we have all of that here in the timeline, let's go ahead and change our resolution. So 1288 by 512, right? And you kind of get that by just dividing it, right? So if you go 12288 divided by 5112, that's where you're getting 24. I kept referring to that. That's a 24 ratio, which is standard cinema right now, unless you're Michael Bay. Then you shoot like extreme 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 wide with lens flares but anyways we changed it five on one two and now let's see if we can get a playback let's go ahead and delete the cache here we go all right man this this footage is actually really Wow. All right, so it caught up there at 24, but as you can see, it is still kind of choppy. You can see that? So no dice, 12K, 2.4. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some 8K footage because I think he shot some as well. So let me delete all this. Let me, let me go down the list real quick, and we'll go over the red one real quick later. So here's a 8K. This one's Q5. This is probably a slow-mo. Let's take a look. So if I go here. No, it's not a slow-mo. Okay. He just shot at a Q5. All right. I can't tell if that's slow-mo or not, but we'll go with no. Uh, does he have any other 8K in there? There's another one. That's 4K. This is 12K. Here's another 8K. Okay. So let's look at the resolution. 8192 by 3408. 81, ooh, 8192 by 3408. Save. All right. So let's see if we can play this back. Let me just take a look to see. Okay. These are all 24 frames per second. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can play this one back. That one's slow motion. Okay, I can I can definitely see that. All right. So it looks like let's see the compression on this thing. So that one's Q three. Q three Q five. All right, so let's play it again. And it looks like it's running there at 24 frames per second there. Really nice. Wow, that's an, man, that's a great job, John, if you're watching this. Well, hopefully you're not because, well, you know, that looks amazing. All right, so those are the 8Ks. And now let's drop in some red cameras. This is a red camera that you can download. And this is also 8K and then I thought I had another 8 camera, another red camera in here. Let me see. I didn't drop it. Okay, here it is. Here's another 8K. All right, so let's change it to one eight one nine two by 4320. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right, let's see if we can play back the 8K footage of a red VistaVision camera. And let's go ahead and press play. Let's scan there. So I I wouldn't consider that I honestly wouldn't consider that as working. And that's kind of one of the things that kind of excited me about the Ursa Mini Pro 12K, their codec. And RED, I mean, honestly, the new DaVinci Resolve is actually GPU accelerated. Uh, RED GPU accelerated, as far as I know. But since DaVinci Resolve is made by the same company that made Ursa Mini Pro 12K and the Blackmagic Design Camera, obviously, they're going to make their videos 
a little bit smoother. Their codec will be more compatible with the software, if that makes any sense. That is the 12K resolution. Yeah, sure. That's nice to have, but being able to play back smoothly in high resolution also is another thing because it lets you edit without having to do proxies, painful stuff. So I'm not ja taking a jab at red because obviously this is not their software. So this is why you're not getting a full time playback with the codec and the footage of the red cameras. But I'm just saying, if you have, if you have a really crappy rig, first of all, I don't know how you can afford these cameras, but if you have, let's say you have a crappy rig or a laptop, think about that. Think about the codec on top of everything else, because it's very important if you're trying to do something like there's a lot of weddings right now where quick edits, right? So usually they're just editing in laptops and stuff during the actual ceremony. So stuff to think about, um, black magic design cameras are really amazing in the Vinci resolve. And I just showed you what red 8k looks like. Okay. So let's see if he, he had some 4k footage in there, which this one is DCI and this is probably slow-mo as well. Let's take, take a play. Yeah, that's slow-mo. Okay. And let's grab another 4k. I just kind of want to see here. And I think that was the last 4k he has. All right. So let's just play this back. I'm going to go ahead and shrink it to DCI 4k. Cause that's what they're, what he shot it in. Okay. And let's play. Yeah, this is not going to have any problems at all. That's smooth. Wow. That is, that is amazing. What's, is it Q3? Okay. So the compression rate is also Q3. Uh, what I'm going to do now is pretty much, let me do something crazy. Now I've, I've never done this like this before, but it's the same concept. What I usually do with the area Alexa footage is I upscale the 2k to 4k and I do it like this. All right. I would go to, and what we're going to do is we're going to upscale this to 8k. All right. So that's what we're doing. So I'm going to save it. Okay. And this is a little quick tip for you. And I just want to see if it's going to work. It might not, but this is why I'm doing this. I'm testing this out. If you go right here to super scale, you go to two times, press okay. That is so much better, uh, scaling than just leaving it be and letting the Vinci resolve scale it for you the normal way. So this right here, when I do this for the area Alexa, 2k to 4k, I can't get a playback. I it just can't, I can't do it. The, the, you know, the previous computer, I wasn't able to do it. So let's do it this way, 4k to 8k. All right. Let's see if this plays. Yeah. It's actually struggling as well. And it's, I guess it's just the super scaling. That's, that takes a lot of, that takes a lot of power. So yeah, you're, you're, I'm not going to be able to do that and get a full playback. So, all right. So now what I'm going to do is last thing I'm going to do is go back to DCI and I'm going to apply just the gen five color science for now. And then I'm going to do uh, extended video. Where's the video now? Let's do, let's do extended video. All right. So that's the extended video. And the th other thing that will kill your GPU is uh, noise reduction. Let me take it down. Ugh. all right. So here you go. None. And let's try it again. My bad. Hey, thanks for reminding me better. Okay. So maybe it will work. So let's go eight. Maybe this will work. Cause I just had the super scale. Okay. Better alt one, control one, and then press play. Nope. Still the same story. I let me it's 15 frames instead of six and nine. So, all right. And if you delete it, There you go. And you know, a lot of people will tell you that 3090 is really an overkill. And I just beg to differ. I mean, for gaming, yes, definitely overkill. So, but for video editing and rendering in Unreal Engine 4, it's not even enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? So 
yeah, I hope you guys learned something new today. If you're looking into upgrading to the RTX 3090, I do have the Founders Edition. Just throwing it out there. So as a as kind of like an overview, you can play back 8K with no problem. Uh, Black Magic design. Uh, the red camera had a little bit of issue as far as the footage goes. Um, but I am going to be getting a whole brand new computer. Uh, I'm actually upgrading my whole setup. So I am going to be doing uh, probably another test like this just to see and compare it to if, you know, it made a lot of difference with getting a new CPU. Because I have a three-year-old Ryzen uh, Threadripper right now, 1950X and uh, RTX 3090, 64 gigs of RAM. All right, guys, like always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.